Yo everyone, today I want to show you how you can create your own B-Patcher abstractions. Um, so what's a B-Patcher abstraction? Well, um, have you seen like the busy objects that you can uh, just grab them, drop them in the patcher and uh, this is uh, appears with all these uh, GUI and, and whatnot. But this is actually just a B-Patcher, right? This is a B-Patcher that's inside as an abstraction. And we can also recall the help file of this uh, busy module. So when we right click, there will be open uh, the blah 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 busy module help, and this will open the busy module help. And I never knew how you can create your own abstraction to behave in this way, but then I found out, and uh, I want to share this uh, little secret. I, I think it's, <laughs> I, I feel like this is something of a little secret with you all. So let's see how this works. Uh, first of all, I will show you an example. I have created my little object, I've called it FF Image Cropper, and I can type the name of my object inside a new object, and when I hit enter, it will actually create an abstract, uh, a B patcher that will load my abstraction. And then if I right click on my abstraction here on my B patcher, it will not open the help of the B patcher like it will do normally, but it will instead open the help of my custom abstraction. So I click here and it opens the help that I've created myself. So um, this is pretty cool. Now, by the way, this is an object which I've been working on, an abstraction that I've been working on, which uh, uh, is used to um, crop matrices and uh, textures, but I will show these in a further video, actually. Today, I really just want to talk with you about how to do this B-Patcher abstraction trick. So, let's see how this works. So, first thing we need is to create a package, because for this whole trick to work, uh, we have to create uh, something in the packages folder, so it must be in the package format. Now, there is a document inside the max reference, which is called about packages, and this will tell us how we can create our own uh, packages, so which format we have to follow. I will show you anyway myself how this is going to work. So first thing first, we need to create a new folder for our package inside the max8 packages folder. So I will just open my packages folder, folder like this from the terminal explorer documents max 8 packages should do the trick there we go in windows this inside in c users your name documents max 8 packages okay cool so i will here create a new folder and i will call it my cool package right so I go inside here, now I need to create uh, a folder called uh, patchers, where I'm going to put all my patchers. Then I need to create a new folder called help. And then I need to create a new folder called init. Now the help folder is where the help file is going to be. The init folder is where we are going to put our initialization file that will allow us to do this trick. So I'm going to show you in a second. Now what we need to do is to create our abstraction patcher. So the one, the thing we are going to open through our B patcher. So I create a new patcher and I'm going to just write uh, something inside it just to have some test thing. And I'm just going to create a... Uh, a little toggle, a little GTP window, and uh, I'm just going to create maybe a JIT movie with uh, movie file bball.mov volume zero, and I'm just going to maybe just uh, make the video output with a Q metro, so every 50 milliseconds enable one, it will output this video, which goes here. Oh, and the attribute is not enabled, but active. Okay, so there we go, we have our little uh, abstraction. So I'm just going to save that, save as, and I'm going to save it inside of a new package. So I called it my cool package, patchers, and I will call that like cool uh, dot patcher. Okay, so this patcher is called cool dot patcher. Okay, cool. So now I will show you how we can do the trick that when we create this object inside the max, it's actually going to create a B patcher, which opens this patcher here. So let's do like this. We go inside our init folder that we just created in my cool package. And here we create a new text file. So I'm going to right click here. I'm going to uh, uh, new text document. Okay, great. 
So then I'm going to rename these into object mappings. .txt. Now everything that is inside the init folder in a package is going to be read by Max when Max starts. <clears throat> so if we can write some commands for Max inside this uh, text file. I'm not sure it must be called exactly like that. I think it can be called anything, but I'm not sure. And inside this text file, we can write some commands, uh, commands for Max. So we can write, uh, for example, Max, and then some command. And the command we are looking for in this case is object max object file and then we want to write the name of our object which is cool dot patcher and we want to write it again and then on a semicolon so we are telling max to link the symbol cool patcher with our patcher file called cool patcher so this we need and then we have to write max define substitute and this is the command that will allow to say, okay, cool patcher, it's actually a B patcher. So we have to write the name of the other object to which we want to link. And then we can give uh, some attributes to that uh, object. So we write uh, at name, so that's the name of the file we want to open. And this is going to be cool patcher.maxpat, semicolon. And then we save this file. And that's it. So we are first linking a symbol cool patcher with our patcher cool patcher. And then we are defining a substitution. So the cool patcher, when we create an object called the cool patcher, actually what you have to do, Max, is to create a B patcher with the name attribute set to cool patcher.maxpat, which is our patcher that we just created. Okay, great. So now what I'm going to do is to close Max. I'm going to reopen it. Okay, so Max is back, and now I should be able, if I create a new object called cool.patcher, and yeah, it worked. It created a B patcher. As you can see, this is a B patcher, and it loaded, it loaded the patcher that we just created before. So uh, that's pretty cool. Now, if we right click on it, though, it's going to open the B patcher help, not the help for our file, because it actually doesn't exist. So let's do like this. Let's create a new patcher and let's call it, uh, let's write simply inside uh, a comment and write, I'm, a, I'm the help patcher for cool patcher. Yeah, that's going to be it. Then I'm going to save it into the help folder that we create in the package and we need to call it exactly cool.patcher.max help. We need to call it exactly like our abstraction, but with a max help at the end. Cool. So now it already works. I don't even have to restart max. If I say, if I right click on the object, you say open cool patcher help and it will open exactly the folder that we, the patcher that we just created. Great. So these are the steps we need to do. We need to create the uh, a new package, call it whatever you want. Inside that, you need to create the patches folder to put your abstraction or more than one. It can actually be multiple of them, right? You can create your, a whole package uh, with the abstractions. Maybe you have some tools that you want to put in a package and they can reside all in the fold, in the patches folder. Then we need the help folder for the help files. And then we need the init folder for this uh, text file which will make the link between our symbol and the patcher and then define the substitution uh, which means the cool patcher patcher is actually going to be a b patcher with an attribute name set to this uh, patcher file okay and this is it so now go out there and enjoy the new power i gave you if you like this video of course would be much appreciated if you like it uh, concretely just by pressing the like button this big thumb up and also subscribe to the channel is for free it doesn't cost you anything but it really uh, helps the channel grow and then you can check my pattern uh, which will uh, introduce you to a world of uh, cool patches and also will put you in contact with me through the, the, uh, the Patreon uh, community in the Discord channel. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon in the next uh, video. Have fun. Ciao.